Hi guys, today we'll be talking about the SPC gear uh, and Drophy Cordura pad. Maybe different Cordura pad than the NPCs. Let's go! So that's a Cordura pad which I would compare with the NPCs from Endgame gear. Which you basically can't, because um, this is a little bit different. If you see the the, the uh, Cordura they use, it's a little bit more fine than that from the MPC, but it's not as fine as from the MPX. It's something in between. But uh, one point which is better on this pen, in my opinion, is the pricing. You can get it basically for 20 euro in the size uh, 45 by 40 with a 3 mm thickness. One problem I see here is that um, the, I f it feels like the rubber here is a little bit harder. The sponge, I mean, is a little bit harder than on the MPCs. And um, the, the stitching, the edge and the stitching, go. they are going a little bit up when you um, go, with, go with your finger over it. You feel like they co it comes a little bit up and then the edge comes, the stitching, um, the weaving goes around. So that's basically one 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 thing I don't like on this pit, but, uh, but in general, if you seek for a uh, speed pad, which is high durable, um, it's easy to clean and you can um, work on it for like one or two years, this is your go pad. It's like you can get it for 20 to 30 euros, something in between. Um, and if you get it for 20, it's insane, man. It's and you know it will last you a minimum for one year, and um, you can easily wash any everything off on it. In general, I would say SPC Gear is doing a great work by um, buying in good stuff in Taiwan and China and selling it for a fair price point in whole Europe. Um, so this is a recommendation from my side for. Uh, um, best bang for the buck um, Cordura pad guys so if you can get your hands on it and you seek for Cordura try this good pricing good product and I think you will like it anyway if you have any questions guys do it down below in the comments and see you on my next video bye